Our next guest was named by Sports Illustrated as one of the sexiest females of the year in 2007. And, and by the way, she's a pretty solid golfer as well. We welcome pro golfer Anna Rawson to ESPN First Take for some tips on golf, perhaps, and also some fashion tips on what to wear. Anna, thanks for, uh, for joining us on the program. Um, I, I read that you never had a golf coach until after college. So I, I'm guessing you're just wildly athletic in everything you, you do. Uh, what other sports besides golf can you excel in? Uh, well, basically, growing up in Australia, uh, my dad was a famous football player, so I played pretty much every sport imaginable, uh, gymnastics, uh, basketball, tennis, softball, uh, whatever I could get my hands on. I just love sports. So. And you're just, you, you pick everything <laughs> up fairly quickly, right? Um, I guess you could say that. It's a little bit of natural ability. Uh, I just love it. <laughs> I know that you worked with, uh, with Butch Harmon, who of course was, was Tiger Woods' swing coach for many years. What, what's the most important thing that Butch taught you about, about your swing? Uh, just to stay still. I mean, it's very important in the golf swing not to move around so much. And as a woman, I guess not as strong. I'm trying to hit it harder, so I tend to move around a bit. So he just really said to focus on staying still. I'm wondering if, for you, which is more fun, uh, hitting a tee shot just perfectly and that feeling that you get when you do that or, or walking down the runway with the perfect outfit? Uh, definitely hitting that tee shot. There is uh, nothing like it. I mean, it brings you back every week and uh, I just get so excited about it. <laughs> so I'm guessing if I asked you, you could be one or the other. You could be a pro golfer or you could be, uh, you could be a, a, a world famous runway model or, or perhaps the, the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Which one would you choose? Um, I'd like both, actually. I'd like to be <laughs> holding that title in that swimsuit on the cover. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's, that's not asking for too much. No. Uh, we're going to ask you a couple of questions, Anna, just uh, so our viewers can get to know you a little bit better. Um, I want, I'm, I'm curious, your favorite athletes, who, who are they? Uh, definitely Roger Federer. I love his uh, little jackets that he wears. Very stylish. <laughs> <laughs> Three things you can't live without. Uh, definitely my Blackberry. Um, Lip gloss and sunglasses. All right, very good. Three people you'd love to meet. Uh, Richard Branson. Okay. Mark Jacobs. All right. And Justin Timberlake. <laughs> How does Justin get in there? That's an interesting I need, group. I need dance moves. I need some tips. <laughs> oh, okay, very good. High heels or golf shoes? Oh, uh, High heels. I can't live without my uh, Christian Labatons. <laughs> nice. All right. Favorite movie of all time? The Godfather. Pardon? I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Favorite movie of all time? The Godfather. Oh, The Godfather. Wow. <laughs> One, two, and three. Love all them of all. them. All right. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, I know you write a golf tip column in, in over 20 countries across the world, which consists of one golf tip and then one fashion tip. So why don't you give our viewers who golf, both the golfing tip and a fashion tip while, while you're at it. Okay, the best golfing tip, as I mentioned before, is probably to stay still in everything you do, especially your putting, so that you get consistent roll. And the fashion tip I'm going to give you is, men, you have to stay away from the pleats. If I were you, I'd invest in some great Jay Lindeberg <laughs> flat front pants. Flat front pants. It's all about the <laughs> flat front pants. Yeah. All right, Anna, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll be watching you. Good luck on the tour. Well, thank you. Now let's send it over to Dana. College basketball action last night. Wisconsin-Milwaukee taking on Butler. Looking good early. Wisconsin-Milwaukee up 61-58. Marcus Skinner, hoop and the harm. Count the free throw. He had 25. Wisconsin-Milwaukee up 64-58. Under a minute left. Butler down two. Pete Campbell has some range there. Three of his 12. Butler up 65-64. 5.3 seconds to go. Wisconsin-Milwaukee is down by a tray. Looking for one is Ricky Franklin, and he gets one to go. Question here, though was his foot on the line. The officials are going to review this one. They get another look, and so do you. Foot did not cross the line. Ball game tied at 67, and that means overtime. Under a minute left, Butler has a four-point lead. Mike Green, 10 of his 22 in OT. Butler wins it 83-75. to 
come from behind, blow out, or by the skin of their teeth. Doesn't matter how they win, the fact is that Butler continues to do so. Last night's overtime victory over Wisconsin Milwaukee lifts the Bulldogs to 22 and 2. The team's top 10 rank right now, it's first in school history. And while that may bring a few aboard the Butler bandwagon, we jumped on several weeks ago, checking in each week with our unofficial adopted mid major. This week we're joined by forward Pete Campbell. Pete, we just saw Mike Green sort of put you guys on his back in that overtime session, almost got the triple double. What's it like to be on the floor with a guy who's kind of in the zone and taking over a game like that? Well, you know, it's uh, it's something that you know, you know, no matter what the score is, what the situation is, you're always going to be in the game with a guy like that that can. Uh, they can not only bring you back, but once you get a lead, he can kind of sustain it and uh, and take over from there. And not only does he do a great job of 